Okay, we are finally back, and hopefully the, uh, stream is working. And hopefully my microphone is working. Let's just make sure it is. <laughs> and it does not say I'm live yet at the moment. Let me reload my YouTube. Alright, now we gotta go to my channel. Now we're live. And we should be good to go. Yep, we are. Okay, let's get this uh, race on the road already after a long delay. <laughs> on the pole for today's race, the 18 of Cole Baker, the 20 of Hayden Caldwell will start in the second position. Let's go trackside for the command to start the engines. Drivers, start your engines. 33 drivers, they have fired up their engines. As they are about to exit pit road. And they are all good to go. Look at the onboards we have for today's race. Eight onboard cameras to your liking. So that things off with the two of Cody Prince. The four of Johnny Gardner, the six of Tammy Derrick, the seven of Brian Webb, the sixteen Angie Brown, the twenty of Hayden Caldwell, the twenty-nine of Brad Stover, and the ninety-eight of Jake Rogers. Hello, Brad Stover. And Tristan, that is called unplugging your mic, replugging it back in, and also restarting your Elgato game capture. <laughs> So we're ready to go for the cutoff race. Who will be the four drivers competing in the semifinals next weekend? We are about to find out. Release the hounds. We are green in Kentucky. Baker already jumps to the high side. That puts the 16 of Angie Brown the race lead. She has already advanced to the semifinals as long as Brian Webb does not win this weekend's race. The drivers go down the back stretch. Here comes the 63, Kiloha Hankins. He looks to the bottom. They are side by side for the lead. And meanwhile, three wide racing, nearly four wide coming to the line. The 63 leads the first lap. Three wide back here for the third position. You see the 14, Grayson Austin Fado goes to the third. They're four wide in the middle of the pack. This is one of these one of the scariest tracks of the season you go to. Three wide, four wide, heck, even nearly five wide racing. One mistake, and you would probably and you'll probably be out of the race. As here's Angie Brown going back to the inside. She will take the lead. Here comes the 29, Grant Stover looking underneath the three of Ryan Gondillo. Now looks underneath the 63 for second. Oh my goodness, that racing is very close. Here's the 15, Josephine O'Neill going for second. She's now behind her teammate. They both drive for Ray Hall, one of the winning in racing. As they come to the line, three wide. There's two of the Penske cars in second and third. There's Cody Smart and... Cody Prince. Team Penske's been doing a really good job this season. Now you see, oh boy, five wide. This is not going to turn out good. This is not going to turn out good. Ah, there they go. There's a 29, Brent Stover. The 8 is at a Michael Kelly. The 20, a Hayden Caldwell. A big crash on the backstretch. One driver on its side. That is, I believe, veteran men is the second race in a row. It's been off of two wheels. First caution is out. Now. The next question, if the 29 was involved, did the 6 get involved in the rack? Let's see here. Oh, they still wrecking back here? Oh my goodness, they are! One car upside down, and that is... That, is that Rogers? That is Jake Rogers. Oh boy! Mayhem is already broken out here in Kentucky. You saw that there's the two, either the, either the two or the 12, there's the 98, the 22, the 7, there's the 42. There's the 6 of Tammy Durek. We will have to find out if she missed it or not, but meanwhile, let's watch 
What happened on our replay? Alright, so let's watch here. These drives are going 5. Look at this. The 15, the 29. Let's see if we can get a good angle here from the blimp. There's the 61, the 9, and the 27. So, oh, Stover just got the 61 and the 15. No, the 15 just got on the 29. There's the 10, the 20. There you see the 6, Tammy Derrick. She did miss the crash. The 24 is in, there's the 15. How did the 10 get on its side with the 42 and the 7? Oh, Madness goes upside down! Yes. While well, spinning out. Up the track, bam! Into his teammate, Tyler Scott! Wow! Let's watch the onboards we got on this one. Let's watch Tammy Derek. She is going to miss this crash. Watch out here. Just misses it. Here's Brian Webb. Nowhere to go in the accident. What a shame. Armor with Hayden Caldwell. This guy hit by the 77. It's one of out. Luckily, that car is still going. Here's Brad Stover. I don't even think Stover has that much damage. I think he can keep that car going. Now let's watch this next track here with the 98 of Jake Rogers. We slow down the footage. Oh my goodness, is that that's is that Cody Smart? Yeah, that is Cody Smart. Into the no the 61 just gets into the two into the 98 into the three. Oh, someone else is that the two? That's the two! The two and the 98 upside down in this one. Okay, here we go. Let's watch the onboards on this one. First off, Cody. His car on fire and destroyed. Now Jake Rogers. Rogers just had no way to go there. And we are actually back to green, oh my goodness. That was quick. Let's watch the restart. Oh, that's the restart. <laughs> Perfect timing. Alright, let's see who's out of the race. Five drivers out. Rogers, Smart, Prince, Scott, Mendez. All done for the day. Let's look at the bracket real quick. 
Tell you what you need to know. Because we are on the 10th lap of 50. Oh yeah, that's why I got a little Google Chrome. Brown team up to the inside for the race lead. She's back to the point. Here comes the 9 of Marty Johnson. He's got help now for Johnny Garner, one of the championship contenders. Alright, so as we look at the bracket, Jake Rogers is done for the championship. Cody Prince is already out. Johnny Garner just has to win if, if he wants to advance. Cody Prince is already advanced in that one. Angie Brown will advance to the next round, it looks like, guaranteed. The seven is a lap down. But we just want focus on the six car, Tammy Dirk, who's up to fourth. Brad Stover has fallen to the back of the pack. There you see Stover just exited turn two. Derek looks for second on teammate Julius Anderson. But the 27 looks to the inside. That is Tristan Allen. Three wide for second spot, and Eli Bright is loving it. Allen moves Brett up high. They're going to go three wide for the race lead. Oh, four wide for the race lead. Brown to the inside. Above him, that's Michael Gregory, the 19. Now they're four wide for the third position. Oh boy, I don't like the looks of this. They're very close together. Yet they're still holding on. Brown goes back to the lead. Here comes Kenny Stremme in the 28. Stremme is second. There's the 26, Donovan Duther. That's That's... Jeremy's teammate, on board with Johnny Garner. Look at the inside, they have three wide for second. Tammy Derrick just behind Garner. Now Derrick looking at the inside for second. Could he? Could she try and go for the race lead? No, she won't. They're three wide now. At the moment, that's Cole Baker in the 18. Derek tries to look. Brown puts the block. Meanwhile, in the middle of the pack, three wide, nearly four wide. Well, they are four wide. Nearly going five wide. Look at this view. Our speed shot entering turn number one. That is some exciting racing. That is, if we look, that's a 16 car pack battling for this race win. Anderson looking underneath Allen for third. He's got that for the race lead. Baker underneath Brown. Cole Baker going to the point. Glenn Duth in the 41 to second. Anthony Lopez is third. Kenny Stremme in fourth. Here comes the 41. Into three. Three wide. Now they're four wide for second. Here comes Grayson Austin Bear on the 14, Marty Johnson on the 9 now looks underneath. This is why the Indy car, this is why when you come to Kentucky, the only race you see now is the Indy car series, cup series, the summer series, fall series, winter series. They are boring. You see single fire racing all the time. Now they're three of a second. Oh man, Tristan Allen getting very loose. Holy cow, this is getting close. Oh boy, I'm with Johnny Gardner. Oh boy, oh boy, someone's in the grass, they're wrecking. Tammy Derrick and the Dale Salesman. Anthony Lopez is in it. Derrick has a blown edge and will that help out Brad Stover? Oh boy. Caution flag is out. Glenn Duke is coming to the line with the lead. Duke or Derek leaking fluid. Brad Stover in 20th. He is a he is on the lead lap just past the six. Brad Stover will likely move on to the semis. And this bringing one the five. Watch what happened. The blimp. 
Oh, we all enhance the six. And then someone makes... I believe that's the... Is that the 18 of Baker? I believe it is. Yes, it is Baker. In the six. The six spins out. Then up the track into Salzman. Nowhere to go. Anthony Lopez may have suffered a piece of that one as well. Here's the armbar with Dale. But any closer than that, Tristan Allen would have been involved in that round. And whoa, did you just see? Ooh, that's a lack in this. That's a concrete wall, if I am correct. But look at the 18. All four wheels off the ground. Oh my goodness. And whammo, done for the day. Look at the look at the look at the front wing. That's completely damaged. But I want I want to watch the eighteen as well. Baker, when he hit grass, he went flying. Oh, when he hit that asphalt. Look at that off roading like an Elijah Gordon. That was the second caution of the day, I believe. Let's see who's out of the race now. Derek is out. Salzman out. They join Re Jake Rogers, Cody Smart, Cody Prince, Tyler Scott, Edwin Mendez. Two drivers line up on the inside. It's the 7 and the 7 and the 77. Oh, boy. Sorry, I'm just texting my girlfriend real quick. Glenn Duthit leads, Eli Bright second, Brandy Webb is third. <laughs> Broken fan or yellow. Michael Gregory fourth, Don Duthit is fifth, we are back to green. Webb and Lopez let the leaders go. And there goes Eli Bright to the inside for the lead. Four wide here with a lap car on the bottom. That's close. Down fifth, Diamond Duthin and Marty Johnson. Johnson will take that position. Meanwhile, here for the race lead, Glenn Duthin underneath Eli Bright. Can't take a call right now. I apologize, Elijah. Brandy Well going to second. Now she's going to try and look underneath Glenn Duthin. The teammates from AJ Ford side by side off of two. Marty Johnson now looking underneath Eli Bright, takes the third position. Johnny Garner now trying to get underneath Eli Bright. Here comes Kenny Strebby. Here comes Tristan Allen. Four wide for the fourth position. Four, four, four. Just like a local, in, like a local attorney we have in my town. Marty Johnson looking underneath Brandy Webb for the race lead. Oh, trouble. On the backstretch, Julius Anderson spins out. No damage to his machine. Caution flag will fly. Marty Johnson will have control of the lead. Let's watch what happened with that 21. Coming off two. Oh, just got tagged from the... Is that a... A Dale, that, oh wow, Dale Coy just took out the 21. Two of the Dale Coy machines. That's two birds with one stone. Watch it one more time from, from another angle. Yep. Luckily, a 360 no score for Anderson keeps his car going. He'll be in the 24th position when we get to the restart. Tail under the lead lap.
so we are ready for the restart. Marty Johnson, the race leader. Angie Brown, second. Tristan Allen, third. Donovan Duthin is fourth. Kenny Stremme, fifth. Sixth is Eli Bright. Seventh. Oh, wait. Yeah, see, I'm messing this up. Seventh is Brandy Webb. Eighth, Glenn Duke. At ninth, Johnny Gardner. And tenth is Grayson Acevedo. Once again, the 7 and the 77 line up on the bottom line for this restart. And Teller is on in 15 minutes, so we'll be done within 15 minutes, definitely. Restart, here we go. Nice jump by the top two. Greg Webb will let the lead lap the, the fast cars uh, just race. As meanwhile, Edgy Brown looking underneath Marty Johnson side by side in turn three. New leader, the 16. Here comes Tristan Allen on the 27. Looks underneath the 9. Allen advances there. Eli Bright goes to third. John's going to lose. He is not in the draft anymore. Eli Bright now tries to look underneath the 27. He goes for second. Now she's now he's gonna go for the race leader on Angie Brown, but Allen doing a good job drafting the six the, the sixteen. Now here goes oh look at the 41 Glad Duke there. Where did he come from? Underneath the 12 side by side on the backstretch. Help from teammate Brandy Webb. Well, trying to look to the inside for the lead. Here she comes! They're three wide for that third position. Allen trying to drop down to the inside. He's got trouble because of Josh Goode in the 11. Here goes Goode in the 11 underneath the four for second. Ronnie Johnson. Oh, almost go. They are going four wide. Now they're three wide for second spot. Johnson advances. Close racing here, look at the upper on the 16, 4 wide. Holy smokes! Woo! This is some fun racing to watch right now. Here goes the elevator underneath Johnson to lead help from Andretti teammate Donovan Duca. Tristan Allen has said going into the race, his car does not have the speed to win today. Uh, he might have been lying there. He's got the lead at the moment. Because Angie Brown, who's been domi who's dominated most of this race so far, takes the lead with 15 to go. Kenny Sturmey behind, gonna look to the bottom for the lead. That's three of the five Andretti Autosport drivers inside this battle to win. Here goes Chris Acevedo to the bottom. No, that's going to do excuse me. Here's the four now, Johnny Garner, that independent racing team. Four wide in the back of the pack. Close racing there between those drivers. Garner has the race lead at the moment. There goes, there goes, there goes, there goes, there goes. He's got it. Yeah, this is the first time in the lead today for car number 11. But here comes Michael Gregory and Eli Bright. Bright makes it three wide. Close at the line. I believe it was Gregory just barely. And it was. But now we cut catch with a slow trap. There's the 77 of Anthony Lopez. He will most likely let the pack go. Oh, no, he won't. Slows the high line down. Going to give one of the AJ Floyd machines the race lead. Now he'll let the entire pack go. Race leader was Glenn Duthin at the moment. Here comes the 9 of Marty Johnson to the inside. Johnson takes the lead. Here goes Angie Brown going for second with help from Tristan Allen. Allen trying to go for second. Gets blocked by Brown. Now Brown goes to the bottom for the lead. A 
11 laps to go. Hey, Dad. Tristan Allen now trying to look to the bottom, but Johnny Garner may have something else to say about it. He goes three wide. Now remember, Johnny Garner is down two, two nothing. It's my finals. To Cody Prince. Cody Prince is out of the race. Garner, he is in a must-win situation. Coming to the line, ten laps to go. Here comes Stuthan. He'll look to the inside on Garner for the lead, unless Garner puts a block. And now we go three wide. Kenny Stremmy to the inside. I don't think they'll do this for ten more laps, based on the racing these drivers are doing. Angie Brown to the bottom of the lead. She's got it. Here comes Josh Goot in the 11. Hey, Dad. I got nine laps left, okay? Ooh. Thanks. My dad brought me Arby's. A pork belly. I'm excited. Nice <laughs> to go. Eli Bright to the point. Here comes Tristan Allen. Oh, Josh Goot shoved all the way off the racetrack. And now... We're gonna go far wide for the race lead! Eli Bray to the point! Oh my goodness! This shows you everyone wants to win this race badly! The person who wants to win it badly more, probably Johnny Garner, because he knows he needs to, he's in a must-win situation for the semis. Garner to the race lead, here comes the 19, Michael Gregory looking to the bottom. Slow traffic ahead, there's Brian Webb in the seven. Oh boy, this is going to change everything with seven to go. There's Duthit. There's Brown. Brown wants the lead once again. She's got it. And now Kenny Stormy. Now Eli Bright. They're going to go three wide. But what's Bright Webb going to do? Slows to the high line. Oh, almost made contact. Four wide. Five wide. There they go. Big crash. Glenn Duthit, Tristan Allen, Johnny Garner, Cole Baker, Donovan Duthit, we're not done just yet, people! Oh, I, what I say? I said they were not going to make it. Ten more laps. Six to go, they wreck. So the race leader will be my right. So I believe we will have two laps to go when we get back to grade. Oh man, that is that Ryan Gondillo in the three. It is Gondillo. Oh, his car is destroyed. Michael Kelly involved in the eight. Let's take a look what happened. Oh, someone's looking fluid. Oh, that's Garner. Garner. He tried way too hard. He tried so hard, but just. Could not do it. He will not advance to the semis. Cody Prince will advance. Let's take a look at the replay. So now once these drivers are trying to miss Brian Watt, there's a big wad coming off turn four. They're five wide! And all and So Alan So it looks like the drivers, the three drivers in the middle, there's Garner, Gregory, and Bake. Once again, Dale Coin uh, kills two birds with one stone they take out two the two Andretti drivers of Allen and, and do that do that bam man what a shame and then something else happens here watch through where's the what are the three and the eight coming to this there, okay here we go there's the three of Gondillo oh he's gonna have marker breaks BAM into the four BAM oh Kelly and Gondello upside down! Garner had a crowd that could have continued, and then Brian Gondello is just bam. Garner will not be happy at all. Let's watch the onboard with the four. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. This Gondillo needs to arc break. I just don't understand why Ryan Gondillo did not slow down at all. That's what sent the leaking fluid. 
destroyed the real wing, by the way, I'll mention that. Caleb Hoffman, Dynacol is all mine. So a few more drivers start for the day. Gardner's out, Kelly's out, Allen's out, Gondillo is out. So let's reset the field with two to go. Eli Bright, the race leader. Brandy Webb is second. Kenny Stremmy third. Angie Brown fourth. Marty Johnson fifth. Sean McCain. We haven't even talked about him yet today. He's sixth. Cole Baker seventh. Grayson Acevedo eighth. Josh Goot is ninth. Glenn Duthit is now tenth. Donovan Duthit eleventh. Hayden Cardo twelfth. Brad Stover thirteenth. John Jack is fourteenth. Julius Anderson fifteenth. Kilo Hawkins is 16th. Steve Morgan 17th. Josephine O'Neill 18th. Josh Hyatt 19th. And Michael Gregory is 20th. Two laps to go. Who's going to win it? The 7 and the 77. Let the leaders go. Angie Brown looking for third on Kenny Stroumi. Try as much as she can to try and get the 3 0 win. Brown goes to third. Brandy Webb to the inside for the race lead. Here they come off turn four. They'll see the white flag. One lap to go in Kentucky. Who's going to win it? Brandy Webb has the lead. Angie Brown goes for second. On the line right. Brown is coming. Oh boy, Brandy Webb, here she comes. It's going to be a great finish at the end. Here comes Angie Brown. Here comes Marty Johnson. Brown has the race lead. Bob, get the camera. We may see a photo finish. Here they come to the line. Angie Brown, the 3-0 walk-off, advances to the semifinals. What a race we had today. I thought Marty Johnson was going to look to the inside of Angie Brown. Not going to happen. So we have that saved. Brown, Johnson, Webb, Stremmy, Bright, Good, Acevedo, McKean, Baker, and Anderson. That is your top ten. Now we look at now we load up uh, our standings. Okay. So let's load up. So Stover advances two to one. He wins that. All right. So Rogers or Caldwell? It was easily hit in Caldwell in a three nothing victory. So it will be Brad Stover versus Hayden Caldwell. And that Cody Prince wins that one. And Andy wins this one. I see it, Tristan. I'm coming, bud. So here is the semifinal matchup. It will be Bristol versus Hayden Caldwell and Cody Prince versus Angie Brown. This is going to be good. Let's look at the, line, the, the schedule the next three races. We'll be going to Chicago. We'll go then go to Texas once again. And then we will head to Miami. It will be a good one. So anyway, enjoy the Dallas race. Everyone, it's going to begin soon. Have a great day, everyone.